In the summer of 1982, a young Sam Brenner takes his bicycle to his best buddy Will Cooper's house to inform him that the new arcade in town has opened. They spend the entire day there, with Brenner dominating practically every game, and Cooper winning a Chewbacca mask on the crane machine. Cooper, impressed by Brenner's gaming skills, takes a flyer for the arcade game world championships and suggests that Brenner should showcase his abilities there. During the event, the MC announces that a time capsule containing elements of today's culture will be sent into space. Brenner and Cooper come across Ludlow Lamansoff, a peculiar yet intelligent young man who is deeply infatuated with Lady Lisa, the main heroine of the game Dojo Quest. While playing Donkey Kong, Brenner encounters Eddie Plant, a skilled gamer. Eddie reveals the game's pattern, causing Brenner to lose concentration and finish in second place. Brenner, now an adult, is employed at a software installation company. Cooper, on the other hand, holds the position of President of the United States, but faces constant criticism from the media, particularly due to incidents from his kindergarten days, such as struggling to read and shouting at a young girl. At a military facility in Guam, a potentially hazardous signal is detected. It turns out to be a signal from alien life forms who have taken inspiration from the Galaga onslaught. The military troops make an attempt to defend against the invaders but are quickly overpowered. During the encounter, the invaders manage to capture one soldier. Brenner visits a residence as part of his job and meets Violet Van Patten and her son Maddie. Maddie informs Brenner about his mother's divorce. As Brenner is about to leave for work, he hears Violet screaming from inside a closet. He comforts her by lending an ear to her troubles, and they share a moment while drinking wine together. Brenner feels a connection and leans in for a kiss, but their interaction is interrupted. Shortly after, he receives a call from Cooper, who urgently instructs him to report to the White House without delay. Violet accompanies Brenner on his journey to the White House, revealing her surprising role as a lieutenant colonel. Brenner is taken aback by this revelation. Upon their arrival, Cooper summons Brenner to the Oval Office where he intends to showcase the attack of the Galaga aliens. Brenner later drives his vehicle home, only to discover Ludlow inside. Ludlow escorts Brenner back to his house and informs him that the aliens are deploying monsters designed after classic video games to attack. Ludlow receives a message containing manipulated footage of 1980s icons like Ronald Reagan and Madonna, explaining the aliens' plans, they intend to use the video games as a challenge, giving the people of Earth three rounds to defend themselves, or else it's game over for everyone. Furthermore, they present evidence that the captured soldier is considered a trophy. They show Cooper the footage and determine that the next assault will occur in India. True to their word, the aliens attack the Taj Mahal and abduct an Indian man as their prize. Admiral Porter expresses his objections when Brenner and Ludlow are brought in to train soldiers by teaching them how to play these games. Violet demonstrates to Brenner and Ludlow that intense light beams can destroy the pixels. Meanwhile, Cooper is visiting a bakery with his wife Jane when his aide rushes in to inform him that the next attack is scheduled to occur in London. Everyone travels to London to meet Corporal Hill. As the centipede monsters attack, the troops brace themselves. Brenner instructs the soldiers to aim at the head and predict the pattern, but they are unsuccessful. Brenner and Ludlow assume command, with Cooper's approval, and attack the centipede. The final boss arrives in town and nearly devours a youngster before Brenner shoots it away forever. The aliens utilize the residents of Fantasy Island to deliver a message congratulating Earth on their triumph, and they offer them the duck hunt dog as a prize, but they remind them that they are leading two to one. The next attack is anticipated to occur in New York City. Ludlow and Cooper concur that they require additional assistance and agree that they need someone else to aid them. Brenner, Cooper, and Violet visit a prison to locate Eddie, a resentful and toughened criminal who was apprehended for fraudulent phone bill charges. In return for Brenner's help, Eddie persists in insulting him and making self-serving demands, such as a private island, 
exemption from paying taxes, and a meeting with Serena Williams and Martha Stewart. Cooper agrees to grant him release from prison in exchange for the No Taxes Agreement. The team travels to New York only to discover that the next boss is Pac-Man, Violet presents the group with four cars inspired by Pac-Man's ghosts, with the fourth one being driven by the game's inventor, Toru Iwatani. Upon their arrival in downtown Manhattan, where Pac-Man is causing chaos by devouring everything, Iwatani attempts to gain Pac-Man's favor by speaking to him in a parental manner. Unfortunately, this results in Iwatani's hand being pixelated and chomp D by Pac-Man. The remaining three members of the team pursue Pac-Man, Pac-Man consumes a power pellet, granting him 10 seconds to devour the ghosts. He then proceeds to eat Ludlow's car as Ludlow leaps out. Eddie swiftly strikes the first Pac-Man after catching up to him. Eddie successfully takes out the second Pac-Man as well. The third Pac-Man manages to send him crashing into the ocean. Brenner pursues him to a parking garage, where Pac-Man stumbles upon another power pellet. Brenner skillfully navigates in reverse through the parking garage while counting down. Just as the power pellet's effect is about to expire, Brenner seizes the opportunity and triumphs over Pac-Man. As a reward, they are bestowed with Qbert. As a token of appreciation for their bravery, the team is presented with a ball. Brenner musters the courage to ask Violet to be his date, and to his surprise, she arrives in a stunning green gown. Serena Williams joins them, accompanying Eddie who was enticed by the promise of an island. While Brenner enjoys his time with Violet, the aliens transmit another message declaring that the rules have been violated, and a full-scale attack is imminent. Marty stumbles upon Eddie and discovers that the sunglasses he retrieved from the water contain cheat codes, which enabled him to defeat Pac-Man and also revealed how he defeated Brenner in Donkey Kong. Eddie flees, and in the midst of it all, the aliens abduct Maddie while Violet watches helplessly. Qbert reveals to the heroes that the aliens were initially peaceful until the time capsule became a threat to them. Realizing that they need to confront the aliens, the team prepares to travel to the ship. The aliens unleash more video game characters, including Frogger and Defender, onto Washington, D.C. Brenner, Violet, and Qbert gears up to join Cooper in the battle, while Ludlow decides to stay behind. To Ludlow's surprise and joy, one of the aliens disguises itself as Lady Lisa. She resists Ludlow's advances until he confesses his genuine desire to love her. Their connection deepens as they share a kiss when Lady Lisa drops her swords. Eddie arrives at the scene and expresses his apologies for abandoning the squad. Brenner, Violet, Cooper, and Qbert are transported aboard the ship, where Brenner faces his most challenging test, Donkey Kong. While the heroes strive to rescue Maddie and the other two hostages, the ape relentlessly barrels down. Maddie reveals to Brenner that Eddie had cheated all those years ago, deceiving him into believing he was the true DK champion. Brenner crushes the barrels with a hammer and hurls it at Donkey Kong, defeating him. The remaining video games freeze and are subsequently pulled back up to the ship. Sadly for Ludlow, Lady Lisa is among them. The crew is celebrated as heroes in front of the White House. Cooper announces a peace agreement with the aliens. Eddie apologizes to Brenner for cheating and acknowledges Brenner as the world's best. Ludlow misses Lisa until Qbert randomly transforms into her. Brenner and Violet begin dating. Eddie receives a text from Serena, inviting him to join her and Martha Stewart in the bedroom, where sandwiches have been prepared. Eddie sneaks away, excited. The aliens depart, and Iwatani's hand is healed. One year later, Ludlow and Lisa get married and become proud parents of five Qberts, bringing them immense joy.